everyone, I'm Robin from Robin's Re3. Tonight we are going to be using one of my new signs called Faith Over Fear. We're going to be working on a breast cancer awareness wreath. I have a 14 inch wreath base from the Dollar Tree that I added um, tinsel ties to. There are 18. I cut my tinsel ties at, at uh, 11 inches and I have eight on the top and ten on the lower row. Again, this is 21 inch mesh cut at, or the poofs are actually ten inches apart. I did not do poofs because I have plenty of videos on how to do um, a poof. It's mainly just measuring out 10, 10 to 12 inches, however much you want to use, and putting them in the tinsel tie. Okay, now I went ahead I had this 10 inch mesh that it's called Poly Pro Mesh Ribbon. I actually got this from Craft Outlet and I cut them in 18 inches and we're gonna do a ruffle. I'm gonna put a ruffle on each one of the um, ties. I hope you're all doing well and had a nice weekend. That's basically just walking down the middle of the mesh. And then we're gonna put it in here in each one of our ties. And we're going to take the ends on each side and overlap them. Now because I am recording this, and downloading this or uploading this to YouTube, it is going to be a premiere, so you are going to be able to ask questions when it's on. And I sh will be on answering any questions that you have. There is also a link to my Etsy shop. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. We're very close to hitting a thousand followers. And we're very close to hitting 3,000 followers on my Facebook page. And I would love to have you join me because once we hit those milestones, I'm going to do a major giveaway. And for those of you that have just joined me, that. Um, a part of the local contest, a local businessman is sharing my wreaths. He bought five wreaths off of me and he's giving them away as for customer appreciation month. So welcome. I make my own wreath bases and I find that the uh, tinsel ties and those that follow me know that I despise the pipe cleaners. They rust and end up breaking where the tinsel ties are a lot stronger. So you can see how that's looking so far. I think I need to move my table back a little so you can see a little better. There we go. I decided to pre-record because I've been having some major issues with the internet on Monday night at 6 o'clock, which is when I usually go live on my Facebook page. So I thought this might be an easier way to do it by recording and download or uploading it to YouTube. That way, if there's any technical difficulties, I will know and you don't have to suffer through them. <laughs> I like this mesh because it's kind of see-through. I mean, when it's rolled up, it's very, it looks very solid, but it's not. And I basically just want peaks of pink showing through. I don't want it overwhelming. I want this wreath to be pretty, feminine, And that's kind of why I went with Faith Over Fear, because 
if you ever find yourself in that situation, it, you know, it, it can be really overwhelming. So I just thought something more feminine and pretty would bring somebody's, would help brighten somebody's day. This wreath is actually going to the Breath Health Center at Divine. Um, it's a local hospital in town. I think it'll be easier doing it this way, putting it on YouTube as a premiere. So that way I don't miss any of your comments. It's very, it's very um, hard to create and then watch everybody's comments. Even though I go back through, I just think this makes it so much easier to answer you right then and there. And hopefully there will be no technical difficulties even though my phone keeps telling me there's technical difficulties. <laughs> I don't know what happened all of a sudden. But this way, I hope that it will come across better for you. Just going to look very pretty. There are several methods you could use with a wreath like this. You could use just 10 inch, put one in each tie. Um, I mean 10 inch wide mesh like this. You can use 21 inch mesh. You could do curls and curls would be curling them up like this and putting three in a bundle. Um, you could even do it this way too. If you didn't, if you want more of the white peeking through, you could do it like that just with a, a curl. So there are several ways you can make this wreath. I actually thought about taking two candy canes, Dollar Tree candy canes, and putting them together to resemble an awareness ribbon. Um, but some people I think would prefer this. So, and I was trying to think of a hospital what would they want to see? Something very pretty. Not that the other method wouldn't be pretty. I just felt this would would suit their wall. Because the one they have up there now is the bow's been squished. It really needs to be beautified. So that's what we're going to do. And then I think next week, we're gonna make a rescue wreath, a pet rescue wreath, and give that away to the SPCA. I actually had one and somebody bought it. So I think I'm gonna make another one and give that away. Sometimes it's easier if you weight your mesh down and then walk towards it. Just kind of keeps it from flopping all over on you. And I loved all the variation of pink that is in this mesh too. Very pretty. So again, you're just overlapping the ends. So it looks like one, almost one complete flower. I 
I do have some tinsel ties in my shop. I have white and I have tan. Um, they're the only two colors I carry right now. Because usually when I make a wreath, I try not to um, have the tinsel ties showing color-wise. I like them to blend in. But I thought for this, this would be really nice to have the dark pink showing through. You can tell some of these are towards the end of the roll because they really tend to curl up. <laughs> This is a very simple, easy method that always tends to look, I think, elegant when it's done. So we got one, two, three, four left to do. And then we'll decide on a sign and some bows. And I made some wreath attachments. Actually, pretty simple. And I'm going to show you how to do those too. Just a matter of pushing it down in the middle and twisting it on top of itself. And then overlapping your ends. usually go live Mondays at 6 and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're new, you know what times to find me. If I'm not on Facebook, then I'm on my YouTube, my YouTube channel. And anytime you have a mesh that has like an iridescent striping through it, I don't know if you can see it, that helps strengthen the mesh. So if you, if you tend to buy um, value mesh, it's not going to hold up very well. So I always try, if I'm going with this mesh, because this mesh is so thin, um, it has that iridescent metallic through it and that makes it a little bit stronger than value mesh. Ever you have any questions and I don't answer them within 24 hours make sure you ask me again and I will make sure I think this one we'll use this one it's less curly but see how that just allows the white to peek through very pretty so it's lending itself to my design I did choose some different ribbons tonight. I had a breast cancer one that I bought and I'm not happy with it. So I have several choices. I thought this would be pretty because see you do have flowers in this sign with a little bit of leaves. I also thought about this black and white check to kind of match the sign. 
this is a mesh that has an iridescence to it. And let's see, I have this. So I don't think I want to add this. I think I want to stay with that one though. And then, what about this solid white on the bottom? White is a new, not a new color, but it's one that you're going to see more of. So, let's go ahead and see if we can load some of these up and get cracking. use my Bodabra. Now I'm thinking thinking I'm gonna put the sign over here. Now before I make my bow I'm gonna show you what I did. I actually took some Christmas balls. These are real sparkly and I took some ribbon and what I did was I ended up crossing over with it. Let me see if I can do it this way so you can see it. Just like that. And putting a little spot of glue and dovetailing the ends because when I put this in place, I'm actually going to glue the ribbon on there. You see that? Isn't that pretty? I thought that was just something different add to it because I don't want a whole lot in here. I want it more to be about the bow and the sign than anything else. So, but yet I still wanted a few simple touches in there. All right. So we're going to start with our bow and I'm going to do, I think about a 12 inch um, tail. So I put that down in there and then I twist. Now actually I'm going to do this up here and then place it in there because I want to do about a six inch loop. So all you're doing is pinching it in there. Then I'm twisting it to bring it back over on itself. But I want to check my loop to see if it matches the one on this side. That's how you match. Okay, and I usually do it three, two, three, two, three, two. So that's what we're going to go with tonight. And I can tell that I need to adjust that just a little bit. There we go. Now, my scissors. Okay, so I'm going to put that down in here because I actually want two tails, let me move this so you can see better, two tails on one side and one on the other side with the two, well, you have two tails over here and two loops over here. I'm going to cut that just a little bit. And see, now's the best time to do your adjusting when it's in here. So see, two, one, and two over here. Now with this one, I'm going to do three loops again. I may just do three loops all the way through. So this time I have two loops on this side and two tails on this side. Now 
let's go ahead and do this while we have it in the holder. go for the black and white check. Make this about five inch loop. Because each time I usually go down another half inch. So if we have two tails over here, we want the two tails on this side. Our dovetails and that's just a matter of folding it in and cutting downward. Okay, our next one is really going to go well with this because it really pops with that iridescent to it. are on this side, so these two tails are going to go on that side. Let's do our adjusting, make sure everything looks good. Because remember, you can always cut the tail ribbon is really stiff. I'm not even sure where I got that ribbon. And then we're going to end up with the, the flowers on top. this way with it. Done it. There we go. All right, now get out a little zip tie, and then I cut 
a piece of the tinsel tie, which is about 26 foot rope is how it comes. So we're going to pull this off of here. We're going to zip tie it. And I need a bigger zip tie. No, oh, it's too small. And one thing I usually forget to do is to double check that I have all the bow around, the zip tie all around the bow. Now before I tighten this too much, I'm going to put this tinsel tie through here like that. And then I'm going to pull the tinsel tie or the zip tie really tight because I really have a hard time gripping things so I like to use pliers there we go now in order to hide your tinsel tie or your zip tie the best thing to do would be take a little strip of ribbon what I do is I pull out the wire, and that's just a matter of pushing it down on the end, grabbing the wire and pulling, and then I fold it in on itself. Now, I usually like to put a spot of glue on there too, just to kind of hold it in place. And then I take it and tie it around the zip tie. Now, I didn't leave myself enough room to tie it. So we are going to glue it. It's the next best thing. Ouch. Hold it with the scissors for a second. All right. Now, let's see where we're going to put our sign. And then we will put this bow on there. Very lightweight, extremely lightweight. If I put that there, I don't usually put my bows at the top or the bottom. So maybe I'll put it at the bottom or I could do side, side, I think we're going to go in the middle and put this at the bottom. Then we will do. See, I don't. I don't like a lot of tails in my wreaths. I think sometimes it can make it look overwhelming. And like I said, because I want this to just look simple and feminine, I am just going to go with a couple ribbons, a sign, and my three. Um, wreath attachments. I think that's the statement I want. There we go. Now, let's start playing with our bow. Is over there. So now I 
may go ahead and shorten the one, the tails that end up up top. Basically, when you do this three loops, two, ta two uh, tails, it's supposed to look like the head, the arms, and the tails are supposed to be the legs. Okay. So when you're stretching it out in that manner, think that way. The first middle loop is the head, the side loops are the arms, and the ribbon tails are the legs. Right? What was next? My black. Boy, that looks so pretty, that iridescent ribbon. Then you take your tails and you do this. even dovetail it first, not this one. You could even if you want curl it. And have it hang down like that. That's always pretty. Now with this this one that's headed up, I'm going to trim that down. I don't want that much up there. And I think with this one, there we go. Sometimes you got to pull on it a little while just to shape it and put it where you want it. Okay. And that's our bow so far. Turn it around so you can see. Then we're going to put our sign right in here. So. Um, put it up here, the hole. Let's see. Now don't worry about the tinsel tie because I can do some things to alter how that's going to show. Just 
just a matter of pulling through the ruffle that we did. what we have so far. So I think I'm going to make just a simple bow to go over this right here. another one on the other side so you can kind of adjust it I may even put like a little flower in the middle of that bow too I'll have to look and see what I got or if I had some more um, butterflies they would look really cute in there too Very easy to manipulate the ribbon. Just a matter of twisting it. All right. Okay, that's what we have so far. Now, let's get our bows or balls with our little ribbon awareness ribbons let's first see where we want it to go just kind of placing them in here to see where I want them I think I'm going to go with them right here. Three balls right here. 
and then I may do some tails and then put a smaller um, now with these it'll be really easy you're just sticking a little hot glue in the hole then you're taking your tinsel tie and you're pushing it down over the tinsel tie and then we can glue that like right there okay there's one I just had a third yep I did it ended up on the floor all right these are the shatterproof kind and they're very easy to remove the caps on them and I may just go ahead and put some I'm going to put this one right here. I think the sheerness of this, we are going to have to put some top tails on it. I think it needs some. Let's put our awareness ribbon right there. And the other one right there. All right. Let me see. I think I'm going to go with the smaller ribbons as my tails. Oh, I think that's the way to go. Or leave out the shiny no let's use the shiny I'm gonna use a uh, 12 inch tails so one two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna cut eight ribbon tails so I'm going to do four of each. Of this set and then four of the other set. All I'm doing is folding them in on themselves for right now. And then cutting up the center. There we go. And in every other one, I'm going to put these. And then in every other one, I'm going to do the other. I like to design as I go. It's not that I'm not prepared. It's just that's the way I find myself more creative if that makes sense. I sometimes have to see the design in order to decide how I'm going to complete it. That probably makes more sense. It's just the way I roll because sometimes it takes me all day to make a design in my head before I even get to the table. So, so I've got these two. I find the center. I crunch it up and then I put it in here. And then you kind of pull. Let me turn it this way for you. Kind of pull up on it. Go 
to the next one. Which the next one is where we have one of these, but that's okay. We still have enough tie there to maneuver around it. Spread them all over on the floor. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. Should have one more. There's one. So went under. There we go. I'm thinking what? on the bottom. I hope this wreath will brighten somebody's day. They walk in there and they get a bad diagnosis or they just needed a smile. And I hope this makes them smile. Now, next we're going to go with the black and the white, okay? So that's one. Two. And there are a lot of people out there that make ribbon tails to cut your tails. You don't want to do it this way. I just find when I'm designing as I go, this is the easiest way for me. So. I think that iridescent ribbon really, really makes it pop. see what we need. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
That's why I'm off. Oh no. We're just going to put that one in there. Thought I was off one. Trying to see what I have here. One, two, three, four. So we could go ahead and just put some more tails up here. So let's put, let me see. We'll put the black up there. So let's cut two more of each. Get our 12 inch. Pull it in on itself. And let's just do a small row of tails up there. And we have enough to do we have enough for four more, so that way we can space them out evenly. All right, so this one I'm going to put up in here. So let's find our middle. And let's crunch it. We did that, and we'll do a black and white here. And then we'll do two of the flower and white. And then I think we're all done. Except I kind of feel this needs something right there. So I may have to change that. Maybe just two pink flowers. come up with something between now and tonight for there. So that just does look a little stuck. And we got to fix our bow cuz I mashed it.
Okay, I did find a few little flowers that I'm going to add to this. So I thought I would just go ahead and add those and record why I'm doing it because I also found some pearls that I think would look really good too. Okay, here we go. We're going to add a few flowers to the front of this bow to kind of disguise the um, center of the bow, the tinsel tie. So that's what we're doing here. Just adding those to the front. Then I came across these pearls and I thought, oh, I did not know I had those. I'm thinking we're going to stick some of these throughout. Maybe just where we have, I don't know, let's cut them up. Let's see where we go with this. These are originally spring ones from Michael's. But I think everywhere we have a tie, they would look or tails, I mean, they would look spectacular. Oh yeah, baby. That's what we're doing with these. All right. See what I mean? Sometimes you just go looking for flowers and you end up with pearls. I'm not liking the top of that one, that one's broken. We'll go with this one. We'll put that in here. Just a little spark. I did not know I had these. But I am so glad that I went down to find some flowers. One, two, three more. Oh yeah, we got enough. We say a dollar ninety-nine on them, but I'm sure I bought them on sale. Here. There. that doesn't have one is right here near this ball and that's what we'll do with the last one we'll just put that right down in there with that ball look at that that's just a little pop of color that just says oh Sometimes you just come across the right puzzle piece. And I think this is the piece. Wasn't looking for it, but I think it works. So, if it works, go with it. do a shake test when I'm done to make sure everything works the way it's supposed to lost one but we're just going to glue it right in there Oh my gosh, 
This is just making this wreath. We done jacked it up. That's what we say when we're putting the final touches on it. Let's jack it up. This came off the end of this, so we're going to make sure it goes back in there. There we go. There. Shake this complete. And look at that, we have one left over. Well, let's just Go ahead and add those in there somewhere. Maybe just like that. Goosey goosey here. So we're just going to put three on one side and two on the other. Let's trim this too much. Don't need all that. Just enough. Look at that. There we go. We are officially done. Yep. Except removing some spider webs. There we go. Okay? All right. Thank you for joining me. And hope to see you soon. Good night.